welcome back to my channel, Mellow Mocha. My name is Adriana, and I am so glad you can join me today. Now, if you watched my last video, you're probably saying, hey, did you wear that outfit the last video? Is this the same day? Yes, it is. Same day. Film this video after my last one. Straight while the iron's hot. I'm in the mood to film. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> oh my God. You'll soon see if you keep, like, you subscribe to my channel and you keep watching my videos. Learn a few things about me. One, I am goofy and corny. Two, can't really talk that great. Three, you'll learn to understand my accent. And four, I like to be honest and free and fun and just, you know, chill around here. So that's how we going to be. But anyway, I digress. Today's video, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to be reviewing two um, weight loss I guess, I guess you'd call it equipment, but tools, whatever, that I use the most when working out, uh, when I when I do work out. Two things I like to use a lot when I'm working out are my Versa watch and these peach bands. I'll put it this way, peach bands. So I'm gonna be reviewing those and going over those today I guess I'll start with the booty bands since it'll be quicker so uh, the booty bands I got them for I think about $14 on Amazon um, they're, they're, I haven't checked the price now I got them like maybe like a couple weeks ago so they're probably still the same price so it's like anywhere from 13 14 15 something like that um but they come in this cute little pouch Pink, my favorite color. I actually like the lighter pinks, but I like a more saturated pink. But it's cute. I like it. So peach bands, and they come in this little pouch. And when you take them out, you get the resistance bands, the four pack. It comes with four resistance bands, <laughs> and they each got a little peach band logo on it. So cute. I like them and I like the colors. I'm a sucker for packaging and um, product design. I am. Where it comes to makeup or food or clothing, anything like the design. Yeah, love it. So, anyways, um, they come in three different, I guess, uh, resistance levels is what you call it. Uh, come in light. That's the uh, lightest one, obviously. It's the most flimsy of the four. Then Medium is the more like um, purpley, purpley color, I guess you would call this um, medium. Heavy, this is my favorite color pink, honestly. I think this is more than the lighter pink, this is my favorite color. It's like a bold pink, but this one is heavy. And then the last one is extra heavy and it's like a dark fuchsia wine type color. So, and of course it's stronger way stronger than you know this one but um what I like most about the what I like about this um again price is relative and like affordability is relative relative to each person but I find these very affordable um and they're very effective like extra heavy you gotta put some effort into it like ah you feel a good workout with extra heavy and light you know, light takes a little less efforts, more flexible, of course, lighter. You also get good workout for this too, cause like I'm feeling this already. But um, so yeah, I like them and they um, I use them mainly around my thighs and my legs, and uh, sometimes I use it for my arms when I'm doing arm workouts. I use them, but they go on nicely I feel like they're very sturdy like of course like I said I got them maybe two three weeks ago so I haven't been using them that long but they seem like they're of good quality um the only thing that I would say about these bands um I'm not sure of any other bands that are like this by any other brands because this is the first time I've tried these bands but what I would say that the thing I don't like about these bands is like at least for me in my experience because I'm like heavier on the thighs like I got a bunch of thigh meat real thick girl real thick but because I'm so thick in the thighs they tend to like you know do this where they roll up and like like this 
And you know, it's kind of uncomfortable. It's kind of like a digging sensation, which I don't really like. So, um, I don't know, maybe there's another way I can put these on where that doesn't happen. But so far, um, in my experience, no matter what I do, um, that tends to happen. And also, I can't really get the heavier ones around my thighs. I mean, honestly, I think the only one I can get around my thighs is the light, light ones. So, that's, that's something to think about if you're like heavier in the thighs like I am. Um, so maybe check, if you're interested in like some booty bands, maybe check them out. I know there are other companies that also make booty bands. I haven't tried them out yet. They might be similar, they might be different, I'm not sure. So yeah, those are peach bands and those are my thoughts on peach bands. All right, so let me move on, just talking. Just be talking, y'all. So let me move on to the Versa watch, which I really love. Now, this is the Fitbit Versa. It's when I bought it, I bought it at Walmart for under $200. I think I got it for like 150 something or 160 something. But it's it's generally under 200. But um here you go. Here's like the clock part. It's my little my bitmoji right here on here. Uh let's see. So you have like the first when you first take a swipe. You have like your exercises, your music, your relaxation guys, and your alarm clock. Swipe over one more time. You have your weather, your timer, your settings, and a coach. Um, then you can have your customizable apps besides tips. So you have Pandora, um, I have Starbucks and Spotify. And those are all my apps. Now, I will say off the rip, None of those apps that I've used, um, that I've installed myself, Starbucks, Pandora, or Spotify have ever worked for me. But again, that also could be that I have not really sat down and really taken the time out to see uh, how to actually get them to work on my Fitbit Versa. But in my case, they haven't worked. And I'm kind of like semi-lazy, so I like want things to kind of work as soon as I install it. But you know, there's that. Um, so when you scroll, <laughs> scroll, when you scroll up on the watch, so, so yeah, when you scroll off, it'll tell you your steps, uh, how many steps you take an hour, this hour, I'm only taking 11 steps, that is abysmal. It'll tell you your heart rate and your resting heart rate, so I don't have it on right now. Let me put it on. Also, this band, doesn't come with the Versa. This is a band that I bought on Amazon for like eight bucks. But the band that comes with the Versa is like a, the one I got is a solid opaque peach colored band. Band. Meanwhile, while I was trying to get my current heart rate, you have your water. I haven't logged my water for today. I've drank like maybe. 30 ounces of water thus far. Um, if you set like a weight goal that you want to lose, they'll tell you how much you want to lose, how much you have left to lose rather. And it tells you your current pounds. See, last time I logged this, it was 316. Girl, that was 10 pounds ago. Girl. Uh, and it'll tell you how much you lost since your last login. So you gotta make sure you log in your pounds. Um, this also has like a, if you sleep with the watch on, it has a sleep monitor. So it tells you how many hours you slept and, um, whatnot. It also tells you like, let me take this, well, hold on. This is like so awkward. Let me see if it's registered my heartbeats thus far. Okay, so yeah, it's registering my heartbeats like. 83 beats per minute. That's not really good for a resting heart rate. I don't know why. I guess I'm a little anxious. I'm not sure why. But, um, so I'm gonna take this off. So, yeah, it'll tell you like your REM sleep, if you're having a deep sleep, a light sleep, whatever, whatever have you, and uh, how long you were awake. Now, it's very interesting because I, I don't really sleep with it too much now because I kind of got an idea of how I slept. And you be thinking you're getting like seven, eight hours. No, sis, this tells you you're getting like, at least for me, 
I was getting like about an average of an hour less sleep than I thought I was getting because apparently you wake up a lot of times at night and you don't remember it. So that happens to me a lot, but I got a new bed. I ought to try this because I recently got a new bed. And since um, I, I'm out of a con working contract right now, so I ought to try this now, see if my sleep's a little better. We'll see. Okay, and then you also have the exercise log of how many days this week you've worked out. I need to edit this too because I've totally worked out twice this week. Um, yeah, so you have to log in your things. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me go to some special parts of this Fitbit. And I'm just giving a brief overview because it has a lot more apps and a lot of different other functions that I don't necessarily have on mine. It's very customizable. It's very, it's, you can customize it. Oh my gosh, Adriana. But if you click on the little exercise man, it brings up a little exercise with a monitor. So you have the option of running, um, biking, Swimming, I guess you can swim with this on. Treadmill, weights, interval interval timer, and just a general workout. Um, I use the general workout when I'm doing like um, a dance workout or something like rowing, something that's not list. I use that for that. But I tend to do weights and um, treadmill the most. So if you say I'm running on treadmill now you click it it says let's go and there you go it's monitoring your workout and then uh, once you're done and end it it tells you your stats for the workout but I like this thing and of course you know it's customized we can get different bands this isn't the band that came with it I wanted a band with more like breathability so yeah so I like this Verka. <laughs> Be nice if I knew what a Verka was, but I like this Fitbit Versa. I would highly recommend it. It's um, it's a little pricey for some people, which I totally understand. But if you can't afford it, I recommend you get it. Um, I think it's pretty good quality for the price. Um, I have, I'm sure there are other diff more high tech watches that actually act. This doesn't act like a smartphone, mind you. As far as like calling people, as far as I know, I don't think it does. But, oh uh, yeah, I think, I highly recommend it, I like it. So, <laughs> I think all that to say, this brings today's video to a close. Again, my name is Adriana, and I hope that you will continue to follow me as I go on this weight loss journey. Uh, if you check out my last video, you'll see me give an update on where I've, what I've been doing the last four months, and I'm also working out in this video so you can see me struggle in the gym and like breathing hard and such and everything. But if you like this video, like, subscribe, Press that little bell that gives you notifications of when my face will be on your very screens again. Um, so again, thank you for taking the time out watching this video. I'm Adriana, and have a good day. Mwah. Adios. <laughs>